Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Edward Ornelas. In today's video, we have this really cool effect where the eyes follow your mouse using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create this really cool effect. If you guys are interested in this content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and let's just get right into it, okay? What we're going to need is two files. We're going to need our index.html and then our app.js, all right? In my previous videos, I covered exactly how to set those up, so be sure to go check those out. But inside of our HTML, we're going to need to connect that app.js using our script tags, which I have right here, which is the app.js, and then the script. Also, as you can see, I already have my window live open over here on the right side. So any changes that we make, we'll be able to see in real time, okay? Afterwards, we're also going to need two photos. We're going to need our minion and our eyeballs. I will link both of those down in the description for below in the GitHub for you guys to download if you guys want to. So now I have added our minion and our eyeballs. So we need to link those into our HTML. To do that, we have to go into our body. Before we do that, we're going to add a main tag. So we'll call this main. And then that's where we're going to do all of our editing and adding all of our elements inside of this, inside of the main tag. The first thing we're going to need to add is of course the minion itself. So we're going to add an image tag and link the minion. Inside of the image tag, I added an ID and called it anchor because that is what's going to anchor the eyeballs to. That way when we're tracking it, it's tracking the eyeballs and not the minion. And below that, we're also going to add a div. Inside of this div, we're going to give it an ID of eyes. So that's where we're going to put our eyes inside of. So it's going to be eyes with an S. And inside of that, we can now link our eyes. Since our minion has two eyes, we're going to add the eyes twice because it is just one single uh, PNG of an eye. So all we have to do is just add two images to duplicate that essentially. As you can see though, the eyes are at the very far bottom. So we're going to have to correct that. First, we're going to need to style our image over here. So to do that, we're just going to add a styles tag on top of the header or the head, I'm sorry. We're going to give our body a background image and color of white. And on top of that, also give a padding of zero and a margin of zero as well. So just like that. And below our padding, we're also going to style our main tags that we have down here. And we're going to center the minion in the middle by what we did in our last video, which is essentially giving a display of grid and placing items in the center. We're also going to give it a minimum height of 100, meaning the, the height of your display. So if you are, you're on a smaller phone, it'll give it full size. If you're on a bigger one, it'll you know, make sure to adjust for that. And then we're also going to give it a position of relative, okay? Once we're done with that, all we have to do now is to style our eyes. And to do that, we're going to add both of our classes, the eyes and eyes image, and give it a position of absolute. As you can see now, it adjusted the eyes and made them just a little bit bigger, right? So now they're sitting on top of the anchor, which is the minion, and the eyes will now be able to move individually from the uh, other image as well. So as you guys can see, we have to adjust our eyeball position. Right now they're currently sitting at the bottom. So to adjust for that, we're going to go after our source tag and give it a style and adjust the bottom and left uh, pixels. That way we can get it right. To get, to get the left one properly, at least for me, it was the 132 by 170 pixel. For the right eyeball, it was 132 pixels, so the same as your left, but now with the left of 60 pixels. And so now they should be centered to the eyeballs. So once we're done here with our HTML and CSS, we can now move over to our JavaScript. Inside of our JavaScript, we need to rotate the eyes. And to do that, we're going to need to add an event listener in which we call mouse move. So we add a document, add event listener with the mouse move event. And then we provide a function to handle it. So every time that it fires, uh, whenever the mouse moves. Afterwards, we'll set up a variable for the client's X and Y values in which we need to calculate the positions of the anchor elements for that. And so to do that, we'll need to add a R-E-K-T, -E a rect client 
of the element that represents the middle of the circle, which if you think about it, it'll be like a box that you can imagine being drawn around the anchor, the minion, to get us into that middle of the box. Afterwards, we can do some simple math here and divide the left with the properties by two. The same for the top and the height. So down here, we'll create another function that takes four coordinates as an argument inside of those which will subtract the x and y values from each other to normalize the values because a tan 2 expects the ray to start from 0 0.00 a tan 2, which will give us the angle between the two points in the radians. However, however, CSS will need it to be in degrees so we can convert it easily by multiplying it by 180 and then dividing it by pi. Now all we have to do is call this function in the event listener with the values of the mouse and image that we calculated earlier. The final step is to rotate the eyes in which we can easily do by looping over each eye hole and then set the style transform rotate property to the angle that we calculated. And now we're done. Now we have these <laughs> creepy UI slash cool eyes that follow us wherever we move with the mouse. So again, it's pretty easy stuff, guys. If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I will leave the code down in the description below alongside with both the PNGs and uh, for you guys to download as well. And if you guys enjoy this content, please be sure to go check out our website, mirad.io for more information, all right? With that said, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.